Would it be fair to say that with regard to Russia, your policy has been pretty effective in imposing real costs on the Russian economy, but it has not deterred Vladimir Putin from creating instability in Ukraine. The conflict uh, seems to have even escalated in the last few weeks. I think that's entirely fair. Um, and, and I think that is a testament to the bad decisions that Mr. Make, uh, Mr. Putin is making on behalf of his country. Um, During an interview with CNN's host Farid Zakaria, published this weekend, Barack Obama openly admitted that the United States was the hand behind the coup that topped Ukraine's former president Viktor Yanukovych. See for yourself. Russia's economy was growing. They had the opportunity to begin diversifying their economy. Their relations uh, across Europe or, and around the world uh, were sound. Uh, they joined the WTO uh, with assistance from us. And since Mr. Putin made this decision around Crimea uh, and Ukraine, not because of some grand strategy, but essentially because he was caught uh, off balance by uh, the protests in the Maidan and uh, Yanukovych then fleeing after we had brokered a deal uh, to transition power in Ukraine, and, and uh, Yanukovych then fleeing after we had brokered a deal uh, to transition power in Ukraine, and, and uh, Yanukovych then fleeing after we had brokered a deal uh, to transition power in Ukraine, and, and uh, Yanukovych then fleeing after we had brokered a deal uh, to transition power in Ukraine. Uh, since that time, this improvisation that he's been doing has, getting, has gotten him deeper and deeper into uh, a situation that is a violation of international law. The you heard him. Uh, the U.S. government sponsored the civil war in Ukraine and brokered some shadowy deal with the Ukrainian elite to take down a democratically elected president and replace him with a neo-Nazi socket puppet dictator aligned with the U.S. interests a practice being done worldwide by the CIA for over 40 years. Now how come the US government and its allies, and the mainstream media can keep repeating 24 by 7 that Russia is destabilizing Ukraine and violating international laws, after the very American president have confessed they did it?